I have people who are contacting me from the buyers list like crazy, but I don't have a deal for them. Yeah. So I wondered, I didn't, I don't know if I want to put in the extra 50 bucks a month to do the buyer's side of the website or whatever, hundred dollars more. Um, do you have any suggestions how to handle that? I mean, right now I'm just texting them and they're all, it seems like they're all just kind of like, well, how much money do I need to have? And I just wondered if there's like, if you have any suggestions on what to do with them. Do I? Yeah. So there's a couple of schools of thought on that. And well, let's back up a little bit. And Jeff and I, we've talked about this before. My, my preference is I want to use the property as bait to find my buyers. I feel like it's easier to find a buyer for a house than it is to find a house for a buyer. Mm -hmm. Now there is something to be said for building up a buyer's list. And then as soon as you get a house, try to sell it into that existing list. I tried that when I started. I, you know, I had a big list. I went and found a house finally and sent it out to the list. And nobody, none of the buyers that I had on my list wanted it. Mm, well, shoot. Okay. Like, okay, what was the point of all that? Right? Right, right. Um, so I prefer using the house as bait. In other words, I don't start marketing for a buyer until, um, you know, I got a house that I want to sell them. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We just have had an ad on Craigslist and people are really interested, but I'm yeah. kind of like, I don't want to be like, yeah, I don't have a house. You know? <laughs> yeah. So just... Well, you got to You should tell them something and you could just say, look, we don't have anything in inventory right now, but as soon as we do, you know, we'll let you know. Okay. Uh, in the meantime, you know, if you're talking to them on the phone or emailing them, in the meantime, just ask them what's the most, you know, use that buyer pre-screening script. What's the most you could afford to put down on your beautiful new home? Okay, so where is that buyer? Where would I find uh, that buyer? <clears throat> all the buyer stuff is in module six. Module six, okay. Yeah, buyer pre-screening there. Buyer pre-screening, okay. Yeah. But, I, you know, if I were you, I would just focus on getting a deal first because especially if you're going to start going outside your market to find a deal and you're building a buyer's list in your market, I mean, they're not going to want to move to wherever your deal pops up in some remote mm -hmm. market. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Yeah. I was actually surprised at how many people have been contacting me, but it's kind of like I started watching a little bit on the buyer, how you said like they can't rub two pennies together. A lot of them are like that. I'm just like, you're not going to yes. find a dumpy old apartment for the amount that you want to pay. <laughs> yeah. So that's exactly right. <laughs>